Hey, beautiful people. Welcome or welcome back. I'm Josie with Awakened Soul. In case you are new here, we are here to get a message about your specific person. Whoever came to mind when this video found you and you had a calling to click on it, I'm going to just get some information about them right now. What's going on in their head, their heart towards you and the connection at this time, as well as any intentions they may have towards you in the near future. We're going to start with their thoughts and feelings, and then we'll see if it matches up with their intentions or if they're all talk, no action. Okay, so what's going on with this person? Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Not to sound like a weird broken record right there for a second, you guys, but <laughs> you get what you get with me on my channel. I keep it, I keep it realsies with my reactions and my weirdness. So I hope you guys can at least appreciate that. Somebody took their time. Um, somebody wants to take their time. We're talking about a slow mover here. So that's an indicator for you. Okay. We're talking about a slow mover, somebody that takes their time to calculate a plan and make decisions. Let me get all this out for you. We have the Knight of Pentacles. That is Taurus energy. We have the High Priestess. I believe that is Pisces. We also have the Two Cups that came out with the High Priestess. Okay, so you guys have an intuitive love connection. That's one message I'm getting right from those two before I jump into the rest of the message, you guys. You guys know you love each other, okay? You guys know that you have feelings for each other. Both of you knows this. There's probably a lot of tension between the two of you if you're not already in a relationship or talking. You guys know this. You have a very deep connection with one another and it's apparent to both of you whether you are formally acknowledging that in the 3D or not, okay? Um, we also have Justice coming out and the Star. So there's been some pain between the two of you. I wouldn't be surprised if this is no contact or a breakup situation that we're talking about. Um, if that doesn't resonate, it could just be that you guys have been getting in fights a lot recently or something, but there's been some pain between the two of you. And this person is thinking about coming in and healing that. There's a lot of energy about this person wanting to heal something and taking time, taking it slow to do so. They don't wanna rush this process. Could also be that they were dragging their feet a little bit and taking time to come forward towards you if you're not talking to them. This is a slow mover that we're talking about. So just be aware of that. This is not the type of person that just comes in like running, like I don't know how else to put it, you guys. Like they are not gonna come charging in and just take quick action. This is somebody who's calculated. They come up with a plan, they stick to that plan and they take their time. Um, they might be an overthinker, but they don't act quickly. They are not impulsive. <laughs> that was a lot of stuff to just get to non-impulsive energy, okay? Um, you already know about this. You guys are deeply connected, so you already know. I'm here just to basically confirm what you already know. My light just moved. Anyway, what are their actual intentions, though? Because that was just their thoughts, their feelings, what they want to do. I want to see if they're all talk, no action, or if they put their money where their mouth is, okay? What are this person's actual intentions? New beginning with you. New beginning. They intend on having a new beginning with you. What else can you tell me about that? This person's intentions, please. Mm, balancing things out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they see you as a counterpart, um, divine counterpart for sure. Somebody who is like an equal and opposite match to them. Like you guys complement each other very nicely. Okay, what is that all about? The five of swords. Ooh, yeah, they want to apologize for hurting you and sabotaging this. That came out together. They want to apologize. They intend on coming in with an apology. They feel like they sabotaged this connection. They want to make it right. They're going to come in and apologize to you, balance the situation, and ask you if you're willing to have a new beginning with them, okay? One more card. One more card, please. King of Swords. Yeah, they're going to come in maturely to talk to you. This person's going to initiate conversation with you. They're going to initiate this communication, and they're going to do so. Um, again, we're talking about a slow mover, somebody who's very calculated, they may almost come across as cold, okay? But they're not. They are in their feels over you, and you know this. You know that this person loves you, but the way that they present themselves is almost regal and royal. They like to take things slow. They're calculated. They come up with a firm game plan before they take action. And so when they come in to talk to you, 
they're going to do so almost with this bold stoicism, okay? So they're not gonna come in and just be like overly emotional or impulsive about this. They have a plan and they're going to open up to you slowly about their feelings when they feel safe to do so and when they feel like it's appropriate, okay? They are gonna come in first and foremost with an apology. They feel like they owe you this apology for whatever reason that is. They feel like they owe it to you. They're gonna come in with that energy first and foremost to try to heal and balance out the situation to bring you your justice. They believe this is going to lead into a new beginning, but they are gonna be a little bit more stoic when they come in. They're not gonna be mushy-gushy with you. They're not gonna come in with water sign energy, okay? They're going to come in with very airy, grounded, bold energy. Um, I'm not going to say harsh because that's not it at all. It's just that they're not going to be overly emotional with you right away. They want to apologize and just kind of talk things through and open up slowly over time. So those are their intentions. What I'm going to do next. Okay, we're going to we're going to get a future prospect. What's likely to happen in this connection? Okay, what's likely to happen in the future of this connection? Divine timing, trust in divine timing, love arrives when it's meant to. Yeah, so some of you guys are the opposite, okay? So this person is a slow mover. Some of you guys are the opposite and you're like impulsive, just ready to go and you're kind of getting impatient and you've been waiting and all of that. Um, universe is saying it's all happening in divine timing. Like all of this is happening exactly when it's meant to. It's important to trust that process. Um, especially if there's been a separation here. It's happened for a reason so that the two of you could grow separately as individuals, okay, and learn really important lessons. I mean, to be honest with you, the way I view life in general is different than a lot of people do. I don't know if you're on the same page as me, drop a comment, whatever you want to do here. But I can kind of view my own life from an aerial perspective um, and separate myself from my emotions from it at times. I basically view this as life school, okay? Yes, we can have fun along the way. That's an important thing, right? But at the end of the day, we are here to learn important lessons and grow as souls and as individuals. So um, it's for the lawn people and the dog. There's some confirmation for you guys. Wally hasn't been chiming in a lot lately. What the heck is up with him? I think it's because I just fed him. So he's like in fat cat mode where he's just like food coma-ing it. Okay, anyway, we have passion. Keep the flame of passion alive. It's the heartbeat of love, okay? And then I wasn't gonna note it, but I did see this was the back of the deck. Yeah, twin flame, okay? So that could be confirmation for some of you guys out there. Only take it if it resonates, and I'm only bringing that up because they had to drop the flame reference in this card. So could be confirmation. Otherwise, just let it fly, okay? Anyway, what are we gonna do next? I'm gonna get a message from them for you. What was that? I want you, that's not even from this deck. It just flew off when I grabbed this deck, okay? I want you, this person desires you, okay? They have passion for you. They've never told you that and they're not gonna tell you that right away either. They want that to like organically develop over time from what I can see here, but they do want you. If you didn't know that, okay? I'm recovering, this person's healing. Like I said, this person is on a healing journey right now and they believe you are as well. Uh, we did have the star card come out right away. So that's telling me that not only are they healing on their own, they believe you are healing on your own, but they desire to heal together as well and repair anything that's gone down between the two of you. Um, let me grab these out again. They do want to apologize. So they are taking blame for something that's gone down in this situation that they know has hurt you. Okay, um, and they believe that they were acting out of a wounded energy when they did or said whatever that thing was. And I believe that's part of what has inspired them to do this recovery and to work on themselves and to heal because um, maybe they were acting out of a wounded state. Nobody's perfect. We're all here learning. Okay, we're all in this mess together, right? Um, what I'm going to do now is just get you a message from the universe. That's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling it. I think it's zodiac signs out, but that's okay. Listen to your intuition. If this reading resonates with you, it's your reading, you guys. And again, also, it's a it's a general reading. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If I haven't already noted this and you're vibing with this video, if you like my messages and you haven't gotten a chance to already, don't forget to like and subscribe. Helps me out. We'd love to have you stick around and join the Awakened Soul family. I'm gonna put a link to a playlist up here eventually. 
and my channel for you guys to subscribe and check out more videos if you feel called to as well. All right, that one is standing out. That came up in my live stream recently, like three separate times. So somebody out there needs that message. All right, mm -mm -mm. we have the zebra. Let go of your fear and know that you are safe and protected at all times. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to read that, so I won't hold it up. Chameleon, stay in the background and adapt to the situation rather than being conspicuous and attempting to direct the course of events. Going right back to divine timing, my dear. If you're trying to force things to fit into a box that you place them in, universe may have other plans for you, okay? Um, the age old saying, if you wanna make God laugh, tell him your plans, ha ha ha, because things don't always turn out the way you think that they will. So going with the flow and remaining adaptable can be really helpful at times, at least speaking from my own experience here, so. Anyway, I'm going to leave this reading here. I hope you all have a beautiful and blessed day, and I hope to see you for a future video. Bye for now.